Lynn's Wild. And I'm Emily Lynn. And this is Dichotomy. Today we're going to talk to you guys about who the man is in our relationship. This is a question a lot of lesbians get asked by well-meaning people. So who's the man in the relationship? Me. Me. Okay, it's you. Clearly. Ugh. Look at Liz, I mean she's so manly. The first time um, when I brought Emily home, my mom was like, so who's the man? Is, is Emily the man? I was like, yeah, I guess so. But now that I think about it, we're both women. Yeah, that's kind of the point for lesbians. If I wanted a man, I'd be with the man and he'd be the man. So there's not really a man. I do a lot of the heavy lifting and I take care of the bugs and uh, I'm not as pretty. So I <laughs> So I'm the man in that regard. But Liz... I make the phone calls. I do the business work. So Liz's the man in that regard. The man. Uh, that's... If you're talking to feminists, they're gonna be pissed off at you. Okay, so because we should have you... a different term. The, dom the dominant one in a relationship? Why does there need to be a dominant one? I don't think and there needs to be. This whole man and woman thing, I think that there are gender roles that were assigned long ago, and they no longer need to be relevant. Because think of heterosexual marriages. Not every man falls into those traditional roles. I mean, a lot of men do, and some women are attracted to that. They want, like, the handyman, the guy that can fix your car, and and pump your gas and carry things. Not every woman is like that, and I know a lot of heterosexual relationships where the woman is more dominant. It's kind of an outdated term, and the fact that we are two women, I mean, I do some of the things that might be considered more manly, and she does some of the things that might be considered more manly. from an outside perspective people would have a tendency to look at us and just based on appearance because I'm more androgynous be like oh you're clearly the man like Liz said I think that sort of implies a disparity of power in the relationship mm -hmm. and there's not one another term that people use is oh Emily totally wears the pants in the relationship yeah sort it implies masculinity which is somehow better <laughs> That shit. People like, you know, the masculine, the masculinity is, is perceived as the good thing, the powerful thing that you want. Guys call guys gay to imply femininity, which is seen as a bad thing. And I don't think femininity is a bad thing. I don't think there needs to be a man in the relationship. I'm not offended when people ask. You I usually just say Emily's the man because... Because that's what they want to hear. Yeah. But we can be super girly, especially Emily here. Okay, right. so I guess that was the answer, huh? Yeah. No man. Just women. No man's land. My vagina is no man's land. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to subscribe so that you get more of these wonderful, brilliant, informative videos. To do so, click on my shoe. Click on my shoe. Ooh. And it will take you Combat to the subscriptions. Boots. Combat yeah. boots. Comment below. Tell us stuff. Leave us questions. Lesbians out. out. Thank you.